salaries are a bit higher. Of in course, terms cost of, of living, sure. Cost yeah. of living, there you go. But in terms of how they could help us, I mean, first of all, obviously, those of us who did live abroad, we, <coughs> we are encouraged to come home because we need to come back and you know, with the situation here in Indonesia, we realize, well, the younger generation need to come back and make a difference somehow. But whether or not you live abroad or here, when you live abroad, I think part of the contribution is definitely, one, influencing those yeah. who are in, who are living in Indonesia, our families, you know, saying what our perspectives from abroad would be. You know, you had Chinta Laura last week, and I'm pretty sure while she's abroad, she's getting those perspectives, which is more of a global perspective. Yeah. In my team, I have three guys came back from U.S. to help me. And when I talk as a speaker in Chicago in 2010, I talk about Indonesian future, about the trans transformation, about the politics. Mm -hmm. So they, they come back. The whole family, they come back. Now they work as a, a professional here. Wow. So they help us. This is a real volunteer. Well, the, the goal, like Sarah said, and you just said, hopefully someday those who live overseas can come home if they want to in, in some way. But it will take leaders like you and, and Jokowi and the others to create an environment for that to happen. Yeah. You, you need infrastructure. better infrastructure. You need yeah. uh, government services. You need jobs. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. What are you going to do to, to help that aspect? The first is we have to transplant in our budgeting. You know, until today, most of Indonesian people, they never know about the real detail of the budgeting. Nobody knows about how... The money is being used. How much money the people buy for the set for the government. They could not find it in their website. That's what Jokowi and I have done in our press. Everybody could know our budgeting. So line by, line, line by line, item by item, you're yeah. listing that. Yeah, we, we say this is uh, the set, the set, set, uh, the set part of mm -hmm. the budgeting. Mm -hmm. So you could find out how much money, uh, the cost of for water, for the cleaning service. You could imagine in Jakarta, one year for education budgeting, almost two times uh, Surabaya city budgeting, almost 10 trillion a year. But you still could find in Jakarta, many people could not go to the school, and even their graduate certificate, the school hold it because they still have debt. Paid, How come yeah, yes. two times Surabaya city budget? Okay, so you will continue education. this if you win. Yeah. You will you will list all expenditures and budgeting yeah. and, we, we, and be we, very transparent. We could make it transparent so the people abroad, Indonesian people abroad, could find out and they could have uh, for the suggestion. Abroad and at yeah. home. Yeah. Everybody could see it in the, our website. How much does a shirt cost, by the way? I don't know, but <laughs> they call it three. <laughs> Uh, for me. That shirt, yeah. How much do you put them on once to uh, buy that maybe shirt? Maybe our cost is maybe only 50000 but okay. we sell it 100000 okay, for so the campaign. Yes. <laughs> and so that's so like 5 or ten, $10 to... you sell it? In yeah, yeah, yeah. $5 we sell it $10. I mean, it looks like country western. I don't know. What, what, <laughs> what was the idea behind that? Checker. I mean, This is a good branding. That's why I am very appreciated with uh, Jokowi. Jokowi is a smart, smart guy, businessman, but sometimes he never realized he's a smart man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, so he liked to wear it and you took it as a brand. No, he didn't make it a good branding. Everybody now look at this. Uh, it's Jokowi, Jokowi. Yeah. Ident as an identity. As sure. An identity. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, but it, it looks like a you know, Western shirt. Well, from what I've heard, part of it is to show that, you know what, in Jakarta it's like a melting pot. Kind of like New York. I was a right? geologist. You know? I was a geologist. This shirt is my... my working shirt. Working, working shirt. Yeah. Okay. The working man shirt. The working man candidate. <laughs> okay, talk Indo will carry on shortly. When we do, the best places to be in Indonesia outside of the capital city. We're glad you're still watching Talk Indo. Hot topic number three, small town serenity. The capital is where it's happening. There are world-class restaurants, supersized malls, great clubs, and jobs. But if there was a choice, would many people prefer to live in more manageable places outside Jakarta, where traffic jams are caused by horses in the road, where the air is cool and fresh, where you can see stars in the sky every night? I say no, because <laughs> it all comes down to where you can best survive and get a good job, and this is where people come to work. Unfortunately, well, that's sometimes. a very good point. That, I, you, 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 that, you threw a curve there. Well, no, I, mean, I, I wish I could say yes, but it comes down to survival. Uh, absolutely. But what Jokowi and I want to do is 
it's like that. We want to make Jakarta a more convenient place. People love to stay in because have a good uh, air condition, no traffic jam, and people uh, have a good housing. Not the poor people stay. But outside. every candidate wants that. I yeah, mean, yeah. That's why I, I told the people the important thing is you have to see the track record from us. Is we really just to make a promise, or we really want to truthfully to do that? Uh, the important is the character. You have to see us. We don't have a, a interesting from any part. So what we want interest is to make the people feel Jakarta become modern. People love in, but I love to stay in a human city. Well, you're from a small town in Blitung, yeah, in Blitung honest, right? Yeah, you, honestly, you? I have to talk to you. If I have to choose, I choose to stay in Blitung. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, but yeah. You, well, you, you shouldn't say that right now. You're wanting to be the deputy <laughs> no, governor you, of Jakarta. But you know what? Yeah, be, be. I, I love that he said that. I love that he said that. You know why? Because as much as I love for Jakarta to be a better place for people to live in, but unfortunately, because the numbers keep on rising, and Jakarta is just getting a, to be too packed, you know. Yeah. And looking at the bigger scheme of things in terms of Indonesia, I want more politicians, more people building the infrastructure in the other areas of yeah. Indonesia so that people would love to stay where they are. Yeah, so we they don't, don't have, have to come, to come to right. Jakarta so that we can build up the rest of the in Indonesian infrastructure. But then it takes leaders. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We, that's what we want to do in Jakarta. All I want to do is to be a showcase. When you could fought for the harness and clean and transparent and totally serve the people, governor or bupati or mayor, then people will realize it. They want to say the whole Indonesia, we need like a Something Jokowi and like Basuki that, yes. to be our leader in our regency. Okay. They will change and transform Indonesia. Sarah, it would be nice if good jobs could be spread around the country, that industries um, yes. such as chip makers or garment factories would m move away from Jakarta and, and set up shop in Medan or Balikpapan or yeah. Litung, right? And but we need more farmers as well. Our agro-system we okay. is suffering. We need more the servant leader, servant politician. What do you mean by that? Yeah, to serve people. Yes. Politicians and leaders Not to who become are there by to themselves. serve the people. Yeah, to serve well, the, people. the term yes. public servant means you serve the public. But yeah, yeah some leaders forget that, forget that the public serves them. Yeah. Yes. That's why we want to yeah. win the Jakarta election. So people will see Jakarta is at 80% uh, media coverage. So the whole Indonesian will see this. If you could fought the good leaders, you could get the justice but for yourself. But everyone fight, you know, goes in with those ideals. But then you hit the big bureaucracy and you hit all the... The, the people who don't want to change. Yeah, not all the bureaucracy is bad, you know. The important <laughs> is... I understand. Yep. If, if the top leader is good, straight, nobody could become corrupt. The important is the leader. It Leadership. starts from the top yeah, down. Yeah, the top down. If the leader good example, if a straight and honest, nobody could have a courage to corrupt. Okay, let's, let's talk, finish with this topic. What small town would you live in if you could choose... Um, somewhere, and you already said you'd be back in Blitung. Blitung Island. Could. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I would choose um, um, somewhere in Jimboran or Uluwatu in Bali because I'm a beach guy. I'm from Hawaii, a small <laughs> town. So I would live next to a, close, a nice beach. The small with, I, that's why I want to invite you to visit the Blitung Island. You have a, a beach white, sand, <laughs> white sand, white sand, beautiful, Can you yeah. surf there? beautiful yeah. beach, and a big stone, granite stone. I would love to visit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just tell me when you want. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Ooh, yeah. me too. Am I invited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I invite you both of you. Go alone. Let's go there for one of our segments. Your choice. Yeah. Okay, where, where, my where, choice. Where, my where choice. Would you, where would you live if you could live? You know what? I was going to say Bali, but I would say this: anywhere where I can get, um, you know, where I can live peacefully, do what I love. Unfortunately, what I love to do is acting, and not a lot of places, even in Indonesia, not even. Not even Bali. Not even Bali. I really believe she will fall in love with the Blitung Island. Oh, okay. right. <laughs> More so beautiful than Bali. Oh, I'm going to bring my production company there, make movies. You, must, there, you no. need a Wi Fi connection, then she'll be there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, we have a Wi Fi connection. Okay. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Time to check our feedback now. <laughs> Susie tweeted this about Gestos Chinta Laura Keel. I love the way she's talking, so smart and open minded. She is a sharp and concerned young lady, Susie. Widania tweeted this. Don't know why I love your accent, Dalton. Please be my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> hey, please. Sorry. We're still I'm working so, on being a father. Yeah, 
<laughs> and Stingray posted this on our Facebook page. I like this program because it's so attractive. I believe he means Sarah. Keep on posting oh, uh, on you. Facebook, tweeting, or emailing with Name and City to talkindo at metrotvnews.com. Final words, Basuki. Yeah, I just hope the uh, Jakarta residents not easily to trust us. We are a politician. We could talk very well. All you want to need is to know from a sixth candidate for a governor, you have to find out the track record. If you find they're more good than us, more clean, transparent, and totally serve the people more than us, please don't vote for us because <laughs> you will lose for five years. <laughs> Thank oh, you, the buddy. first appeal to not vote for you. Okay. <laughs> Sarah, final words. I am loving, I am loving this episode. Lots of curves. But yes, I just came back from Russia as a delegate for Republic of Indonesia to APAC, Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation, and uh, for the Women and Economic Forum, even though I have no idea anything about economy, but somehow I was inspired, invited as a speaker, and there I learned so much about what each business owners, what each person can do to actually make it a bit better for every single person to handle the balance between work and life because it doesn't take just the women, it takes also the men to be able to support a family mentally. Okay, so now you're an activist in Russia too. <laughs> All right. not, not, as Indonesian. My as final Indonesian. words, Americans around the world, including here in Jakarta, celebrated their Independence Day this past week. It's a time for hot dogs and fireworks, but it's mainly a moment to remember how hard Americans so we here in Indonesia should remember that even more mature nations don't have it perfect. Mm. And with our 67th Independence Day coming up, we are further along than many others. But we still must work to get it better every day. And that is Talk Indo for this week. For Sarah and Basuki, thank you very much. I'm Dalton Tanaka. See you next week.